Hello and welcome back to students. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Today we're going to continue with Unit 5, Changes to Earth's Surface, Lesson 3. How can we prevent wind and water from changing lands? Part 4. For today we're going to cover the following points. Lesson check, page 277. Self-check, page 278-279. Are you ready? We open to page 277. Lesson check. Let's observe the pictures. What can we spot or what can we observe? Excellent. We could observe a landslide happening that would cause a change to the mountain and the area around it, right? It blocked the way and buried it with the soil. Let's check what's happening. What is the question? Can you solve it? What can people do to prevent water and wind from changing the land? Be sure to identify and describe ways to prevent flooding. Identify and describe ways to prevent wind erosion. Identify and describe ways to prevent landslides. So they said, how can we stop the wind and water from changing the land? One more time, I'm going to reread it, then I'm going to explain. Can you solve it? What can people do to prevent water and wind from changing the land? Be sure to identify and describe ways to prevent flooding. Identify and describe ways to prevent wind erosion. Identify and describe ways to prevent landslides. Are you guys ready? So, what are some ways to prevent flooding? So they said, what can people do to prevent water and wind from changing land? We just studied about them. Either, excellent, to, to, to prevent flooding, we could either use the sandbags or, excellent, the dikes, which are walled by the sea or any other body of water to stop the water from covering the land. That's one. And the sandbags will stop the water. When we build them in a wall format, they will stop the water from covering the land and coming into the homes. What else? How do we stop the wind erosion? Excellent, either by wind breaks or excellent, or by building fences on the beach. How about the landslides? How can we stop the landslides? Either by using the brackets, which are the technologies, right? Or uh, building walls or excellent planting more plants in order to uh, what? to hold the soil in its place and as we said that the best was the technology but also we could build all three together to combine them and make it even a more stronger solution to stop the landslide from happening. Clear? So we write on page 277 people can use sandbags and dikes to prevent flooding they can also use windbreaks, shrubs, trees and retaining walls to prevent erosion and landslides. So I'm gonna reread it then I'm gonna explain it. on page 277 we read all together. People can use sandbags and dikes to prevent flooding. They can also use windbreaks, shrubs, trees, and retaining walls to prevent erosion and landslides. So far, so good. So, people can use the sandbags and the dikes to prevent flooding, as we said, and also they could use the windbreaks, shrubs, trees, and retaining walls to prevent to stop the erosion and the landslides from happening. Clear so far? So far, so good as well as the brackets, don't worry, we could also add it. Clear? We move on. So guys, you have to stop the video, and you have to copy this neatly and properly on page 277, on page 277. Clear? Take your time, once you're done, you continue with the video. Okay, we reached page 278. Are you ready? Let's start. Self-check. Number one, which shows a way to help stop wind from blowing soil from a farm or a field? Which of these three pictures shows a way that will stop the wind from blowing the soil from a farm or a field? Is it the dikes? Is it the wind breaks or the walls, retaining walls and the brackets to, to hold the, the land in its place? Excellent! It is the wind breaks that will stop the wind from blowing the soil from a farm or a field. Number two. How can people help prevent or slow floods? Choose all correct answers. They so want to stop the floods from happening. Which one is that? We have dikes, we have shrubs, and we have sandbags. Which ones will help prevent or slow the floods? Will the shrubs help prevent or slow the floods? Or planting plants on the land, will it help slow the floods? Excellent. This is incorrect. We should search with the dikes and the sandbags. Great. We move on. Number three, what do designs uh, to prevent landslides try to do? So what are the different designs that they came up with to try to stop the landslides to? A, slow landslides down. B, keep landslides from starting. C, make landslides smaller. Again, 
What do designs to prevent landslides try to do? A. Slow landslides down. B. Keep landslides from starting. C. Making landslides smaller. Hmm, what do you guys think? So all these designs of the brackets and the walls and planting to, to hold the soil in its place, what do they do? Hmm, slow the landslides down. Keep landslides from starting or making landslides smaller. Excellent! It will keep the landslides from starting. Very proud of you. Of course, it will not slow the landslides down because once a landslide starts, nothing can stop it. And then keep landslides from starting. Excellent, that's it. We try to prevent to stop the landslide before it starts by building the walls or uh, the brackets and the walls, wires and the brackets and the retaining walls and the shrubs to hold the soil in its place and stop it from sliding down. See, make landslide smaller? Of course not. Clear? We move on. Page 279, number 4. What changes are people trying to prevent in each picture? Use a word from the box to identify the change. We have flood, landslide, wind erosion. Are you guys ready? First picture. What are they trying to do with planting more plants and dividing it into parts as if there are walls? Or there are walls, but we can't really see them because the image is small. Excellent, landslide. What about the second picture? They built what? A dike. What will the dike stop? A land erosion or a flood or what? Or wind erosion. Wind erosion or a flood. Excellent, a flood. The third picture. In the third picture, we could spot wind break. What will the wind break stop? Excellent, the wind erosion. It will stop it from reaching this way. Number five. Which country would need to build dikes? Choose the best answer. So they said the best, which means we only have one correct answer. A. Mongolia, which is high in the mountains. B. Netherlands, which is mostly at or below sea level. C. Chile, which is covered with a sandy desert. Are we ready? Let's go again. Which country would you need to build dikes? Choose the best answer. A. Mongolia, which is high in the mountains. B. Netherlands, which is mostly at or below sea level. C. Chile, which is covered with sandy so desert. Again. A. Mongolia, which is high in the mountains. B. Netherlands, which is the mostly or mostly at or below sea level. C. Chile, which is covered with a sandy desert. Do you guys think? Hmm. Build a dike to protect it from the water. Hmm. Of course, it is B. Mongolia, which is high in the mountain. There is no risk of the water reaching it. B. Netherlands, which is mostly at or below sea level. This is too risky because it's very close to the level to the sea. That's why we should build dikes to protect it from getting flooded with the water from the sea. Clear? C. Chile, which is covered with a sandy desert. Of course not. Clear so far? That's all. Thank you.